Hey guys, how you doing? Steve here again. Time for another video. Okay, let's see what we can talk about for 20, 2022. Righty-o, push these things out of the way. I had a problem where I was using um, a forstner bit and uh, drilling a hole, in, not a hole, but a sort of recessed area in a piece of timber. I think I might have an example of it here. I'm always spontaneous, as you know. I just think of it, and then I do it. Okay, I was making these for uh, with uh, little bowls in it, just for little servery bowls for sort of dipping sauces and that. But I wanted to get this area here flat because this is black Tasmanian black wood, and um, even the best cutters around um, still give you that bit of a furry thing because of the type of grain that this black wood um, uh, black wood actually has. So, I th how do you sand this? You know. It's, it's, it's one of those difficult things to sand. Then I looked up on you, I looked up on eBay and sure enough, here's this great little sander, 50 millimeters diameter. The hole is 54 millimeters diameter, just runs around and it's a beauty, you know, it just, it, it fits off my polishing tool uh, arm, fits off a drill. Also comes with a, which has got the Velcro top and you've got, a range of the Velcro uh, discs with it. Now that whole box there, not the box itself, but the, the stuff, and and this and the little foam one, which is fabulous because you sort of, you know, this sort of foam one is, is you're able to sort of get it with the hook and loop. You're able to sort of scoop it around in bowls and things like that. So it's a ripper. I bought it on eBay. Eh, what, 25 bucks? Yeah, you don't actually have to have a festival all the time to get a great little product. But mind you, I have a backstop. And the backstop is, this was a one that I just sort of remembered when I was doing it. This is from Robert Sorby, the um, wood turning uh, chisel guy. And this is what off one of his um, power sanding things for when you're doing lathe work. But... It, great value, you know, and, and they give you a, a range of, uh, it's about, I don't know, I suppose, 10 of each. Yeah, usually 10 of each. And it goes from something like 40 grit down to about 6,000 grit. Good value. Look it up on eBay. Just look up 50 millimeter sander. Now, also, then I decided, <laughs> let's. What if I want to do something where you can't kind of get in and you sand around the very a tight spot? Then I looked up smaller sizes. And here is a 19 millimeter and a, oh, this one's a 16 millimeter. So here's these little tiny ones you've got. They've got the um, uh, hook and loop on top. They're, spun, they're kind of firmly spongy. Um, nice, not too sloppy, not too hard. So they're good. They come with these two cutters. <laughs> and all you just do is you just buy any old Heinz variety uh, sandpaper or sandpaper of your choice in say, I just got this size because it was easy and it was reasonably priced, it's 240 grit. And all you just do is get this little baby and I'll get, I'll get my uh, hammer. I don't know which hammer I'll use, I don't know. Probably. Try a rubber hammer. I've only tried it once, as you can see. And all you just do is... Yeah, well, maybe I should have got the bigger hammer. What do you reckon? Yeah, definitely should have got the bigger hammer. <laughs> okay, let's get the bigger hammer. And I know you're going to say, oh man, why aren't you organised? Yeah, well, they don't work this way. They don't work organised. They kind of work disorganised. I love it. Spontaneous. <laughs> Everything in life should be spontaneous. I've spent half my life being organised. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. No, probably just, it's probably my technique. It's a bit too bouncy, the table, I think. I'm not getting it right on. Uh, anyway. Failure number one, 
Now, the first one cut out okay, and I'm sure you put it on. This bench is not really meant for this sort of thing. Uh, on the corners over here, it's better. Yeah, look, I'll even do it. I know you're going to be going, oh, ho, hum, watching grass grow. I see the technique, eh? <laughs> oh, that's better. So that's better. So it just pops out like that. And it's got the, the, um, the sticky stuff on the back. Whack it on that little baby. Thank you. Nice little tiny sander. 16 millimeter diameter. Get right into those really intricate little bits that you're trying to do. Fantastic. Again, eBay. Not Festool, not Makita, not anybody fancy. Just some schmo on um, eBay selling this stuff. Uh, very heavy, <laughs> actually they're weighted, really weighted. Fantastic, you know, you don't use it all the time, but when you want, brilliant. All right, well, there's a little tip. And you know, they're all affordable, these are on eBay, I don't know, I can't remember what they've cost. These ones may be a little bit dearer. I think these might have been about 80 bucks or something. But look it up, um, came pretty quick. Okay, so, <laughs> I'll do a couple of short videos like this on things that I do or that might help people, you know. I don't go into all the details. I'm sorry, guys. I really, it's not a how-to sort of video. It's more, hey, look, here's a great little product. If you find any use for this sort of thing, you, this is what you can buy. Just go and buy it or don't buy it. <laughs> all right. So I'll um, I'll see you soon. I'm, I'm sort of, I'm... I'm sort of getting my workshop together and I will, as I can, I look, there are some other things I'm going to show you, but I'm um, just, as I'm looking around, I'm looking, I suppose you should be looking at the camera, Steve, be a bit more professional. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop, I'll stop waffling on. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio.